Hi guys, it's me, Marvon again. I hope you guys can hear me. I think I put my headphones on. Mmm, it's the loop, mommy. Oh, just got out of work. I know it looks like it's like, what time did you get off? It's still early. It's like seven-ish. But the sun's gone down and the darkness came about. So, anyways, if you guys see my other video, yes, I gotta be. <laughs> I purchased it at, at um, hobbybees.com. <laughs> No. Um, yeah, I got a boo-boo. He is super sweet and super nice. I'm just, it's a little bit more relief that it's like, oh my god, finally. Like, I'm off grinder. I'm off scruff. I'm off um, Adam for Adam. I'm off, you know, dicks.com. Like, I'm really free now. Like, now, I'm not free, but like, now I'm like, have continuous delicious penis. <laughs> I know I talk about sex a lot. I'm like a sex addict only to him But to a lot of people too, but right now it's only to him But the thing is is what I'm worried about is like huh, I feel like sex is gonna keep us Which a lot of people will like will be like Marvin. Why are you complaining? But at the end of the day, it's not healthy. I guess To have sex every day. <laughs> well, let me get an island <laughs> Run 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 to the island run to the island run to the island. <laughs> oh, I love being here in the island Getting trapped in the island is the best because you look stuck. Oh, girl, that lip gloss is popping. It's not lip gloss; it's lip balm. Uh, look at my little crown, Tierra, because he calls me princess and I call him daddy, so it just relates better. But anywho, um, uh, so yeah, I have a boyfriend. It's like so weird because, especially in New York City, saying this because if you are from New York and stuff you guys would definitely understand they would be like damn this motherfucker is got a man how the fuck do you do it you know what i'm saying and at the summertime and the summer is over too yes because usually you'll find a man in the beginning of the summer so it's just only like a summer thing watch my flowers in the back but really mm -mm, this time is for real he's really really sweet he's a really sweet guy i feel like he's gonna be in my life for a really long time because <laughs> he's such a sweetheart but he doesn't ah! i almost fell in a pothole <laughs> He doesn't, um, ow. He's, he's a very, very smart, um, person. <laughs> a, totally opposite in the guys that I used to date. Not saying that I dated, like, total, they, yeah, they were douchebags. But not, to, not they were, like, stupid. They weren't stupid. But they were, like, um, uh, not really strong-headed as he is. You know what I mean? So he's not a fighter, he's a lover. Mwah. So he be punching me and hitting me and biting me all over those private ports. But he ain't gonna do it in my face because I'll fuck him up. <laughs> no, I'm just so anywho, one thing that I had in my mind, I'm gonna walk slower. <laughs> that I wanted to talk about, but I didn't want to talk to him about it yet. But you know me, I gotta blog it, I gotta I gotta I gotta feel I gotta hear and see myself um, say these things, so I can't like just go automatically like, okay, let me just talk to you when you should, but still. And I feel like I'm very, I can very comfortable to talk to him because he's not a very judge, he's not a judgmental person. He doesn't judge anyway. He's just very really, yes, yes. <laughs> he's really really sweet. So what I wanted to talk about was, <clears throat> I'm gonna take the longer way because every time I talk to you, I take the longer way. But I wanted to talk about prep. Little blue pill. The little blue pill that doesn't get you an erection, but it's a big blue pill. <laughs> um, okay, if you guys don't know, it's used for if you are sexually active and you don't use condoms or anything like that, or if you do you use condoms and you have a little slip up or something like that someone that puts it in without you noticing that's just like a weird bitch right there like really like you ain't noticed that he was slipping it in girl yes you did stop playing i think he following me Spy. but anyway yeah because it was like two blocks and he's still behind me and maybe he's just being nosy so let me tell you so um so i the reason okay what it does is just prevents you from getting hiv and um if someone has um, HIV and you do take this and you on this it gives you uh, it's 90% chance that you would get infected so it really prevents it and they give it to the patients I would call them patients because they they would be considered patients um, that have um, 
HIV and then they um, they take it to prevent it from spreading more into their bodies so to give you a very a little a little bit of a healthier life so when you take it and you don't have it it gives you a better chance of preventing you of getting HIV but it doesn't prevent it by getting other sensors, sexual transmitted diseases as like, you know, herpes, felicifus, um, you know, itchiness, scratchiness, um, bitch still cause you, you know, like anal leakage and shit. It doesn't prevent all of that bullshit. All of that stuff. Ooh, what is this? Teeth, teeth cleaning 30 minutes, refresh, da -da 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 -da, for $89, that's right. Teeth whitening, 400 bucks for an hour. Unlimited whitening, express whitening, 30 minutes. No. So anyway, it's like doesn't make sense. For an express whitening teeth cleaning, it's for they said 30 minutes and it's $2.95. And then for an hour is $3.95. So a hundred dollar difference, like really bitch? No. No, it's worth doing it, but not for like no three hundred dollars. <laughs> So, okay, so what I wanted to talk about is, let me just get out of the main street, because this is some nosy ass people all around me. So what I wanted to talk about was, okay, I'm on prep. I've been on it for two months now. So the way it works too, once you take it, does not mean that you're like, oh my God, I'm already protected. Let me just be a hoe and open your, open your walls and let it go. No, what it, what it does, it needs like a two week uh, process to get into your system and then from there then you are uh, like on it if that makes sense like it's all the way in your blood seems like it's already seeped through so you know whatever it's kind of like birth control that's what it is it's a guy's birth control for your JJ. that's what it is so i'm on my guy birth control for my JJ, and i've been on it for two months like i said before but we briefly talked about it. He's like, oh, I always use protection. I've been with females before, and I've been with people. It's like the whole big long story, you know, because every time you talk about these things, everyone gets a little cringy, whatever. I try to make it fun conversation. They'll be like, wait, when's the last time you got your dick up? Where's the last time that you got anal? You know, like shit like that. I'll be talking to him just to get information, but to make it fun and, 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 and everything because I understand the sex talk when you're naked because usually we're naked and having these conversations, and you're talking about sexual transmitted diseases and stuff it's like basically you're both butt naked in our silk robes me and him because that's what we do and, and my little flurry slippers on <laughs> and we're having this conversation and I thought somebody was behind me and we're having this conversation about it and we're both butt naked just finished having sex and I'm like dude we should have had this conversation before we had sex like before you put it in me I should have said yo so what's the status you know what I mean like girl you should have knew the status before you open your legs and let it shine okay so anywho so I want to have this conversation with him about it as like, do you want to be on it? Because we were having unprotected sex. I'm sorry. We've been having unprotected sex since, um, since we started, since the day that we met and stuff. Um, and his excuse was, we were, he didn't even know I was on prep. We were naked and getting nasty on my bed and stuff. Daylight bright as day. <laughs> my legs up in the aisle. He was about to put it in and he looked at me. He was like, I don't know about you, but I feel like putting it in right now just like this. I was like, oh, that really, that part really turned me on. Like, okay, do it. But my other part of my head was like, Marvin, you need to like really, <laughs> you need to really like take this to consideration. Okay, eh, you don't know his status. He doesn't know your status, you know? And then I told him I was a prep when we're done having sex. I'm like, really, Marvin? But I was just so horny. I know the 15 minutes of pleasure can give you a lifetime of pain. I get it. But, ooh, he gonna pay for it. <laughs> I'm just late. But I wanted to talk to him about it. Let me go this way. No. So I wanted to talk to him about it because I kind of felt like this is something that's important. Obviously, it's important conversation to talk about this because this is um, something that is, it's on my mind. And, and it should be on his mind too. Like. I feel like we should, um, I feel like he should go get tested. Or we both should go, because I think I'm due to, to get tested. Um, one month unlimited, what? Unlimited tanning? Girl, I'm coming on Sunday. So, um, 
So it goes with like I want it. I I don't know if I don't know if he's gonna feel uncomfortable or I don't think he should. But I don't know how is he going to react to the part of telling him like, okay, I want to start using condoms until you get your status um, checked. You know, until we get our status checked too. Like it's not only me, but um, sometimes I'd be missing the pill because <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I'm fine. I'm not gonna take it this time. <laughs> <laughs> and then slip ups happen and then it's like girl I'm pregnant again. That's cute. I love jewelry stores. But yeah. So I don't know. I just don't know how I'm gonna open this conversation or how I'm gonna talk about stuff about this. Because it is like I said before, it is a very ses sensitive topic. And it shouldn't be sensitive, but a lot of people do take it that way. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put it to a lot of people. I'm going to put it for me and him. People would... T I don't... I feel comfortable talking. Obviously, I talk in the street all the fucking time. Like, really? I don't even fuck. I'd be talking about anal and shit like that when I'm talking. And then, like, a client passes by. And I'm like, hey, girl, how you doing? Knowing that she was... I did not know that she's been having the whole time listening to this conversation. Okay? Sorry that I look so dark. Yes, but I'm trying to go in between the blocks because I want to, like, really influence you. Because I feel like I, I don't really invest time and effort on my vlogs. When I really try to, I work a lot, guys. Like, serious. It's not, like, my job. It's not like I work from 9 to 5. And I'm like, yeah, let me just vlog anything. No, like, like I really do work. Like, my job consumes my life. And that's another thing, too. I, I want to brief talk about that a little bit. But to go for him, I don't know. I don't know how I want to have this conversation with him. I don't know how I'm going to have this conversation with him. I know he listens to my videos. Not listens. He watches my videos and stuff. I get it. But I don't want him to take the videos that he watches of me as like, okay, he wants to talk about something or he wants to do this. Let me just do it. I really vent. Like, I'm really venting. Like, if I'm venting to a friend, like, I'm really venting. Um, so I do want to have a serious conversation about it. Um, um, I, I don't know when we're going to see each other. <laughs> I have to make an appointment. <laughs> so when we do see... Is it raining? You better not play with me. Because I got that good wig today. Um... So I don't know. I don't know how am I going to talk to him about it. But I think I feel like it's important because I would like to know. I want him to come inside me so bad. <laughs> I don't care. I don't, I mean, listen. This is who. This is what it is. I am a very sexual person. I just love penetration. I love both ways. I love it all. You know, I'm first and fun. Like fuck that. You know what I mean? When I used to be like an innocent girl in Miami, it's like no, I'm just a bottom. She doesn't use her penis. She just has it for decorations. But now, I get to use my decorations, so it's fine. That's your father? Damn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like I like my man. I do, I do, I do. But damn, that's guy, if you, if I, let me describe this daddy in front of me. That's with his child. He has sweatpants and they're tight. So you see his little bunky. Not that big, not that small. Nice little tone boot, but. And then he has like a black tank top on. <laughs> with all his muscles showing. I'm not into muscle guys, but I mean like he's a daddy and muscular. Let's go like, wow. And my man has muscles too, okay? He be carrying me around like a little doll and shit. I love it. Oh my God, my wig is gonna get wet. It's really fucking raining. Don't do it, don't do it girl. And I don't have weed. Cause I would've got myself under a, a telephone pole. And smoke and talk to you guys, but not sober. I'm sober now, but not not too sober. <laughs> Cause then I'll be like, you know, uh, I'll be like that kind of bitch. Like you, I want to confess everything. But when I'm drunk, I'm like, yes. And when I'm high, I'm like, what's up, bitches? So all these crazy personality. Yeah, but Daddy looked fine, and he has his little daughter walking around. Okay, so okay, so cute. Anyway, who cares about him? But so that's my little thing. I don't know how to say it to him and stuff like that. And I was mentioned a little bit about work stuff why it, it, I'm always tired from work not because they yeah because I work a lot and I, I work like a dog but oh no oh no it is raining it is mostly because people in my job are so annoying they want to know everything they want to be in your life and I'm like ah, it's raining <laughs> and they want to be in your life and stuff and I'm like I'm not trying to be that person I don't want to I don't want that to be consuming me 
and it's been like that for a while since I've been working and I allow that to happen but I'm trying to get out of it so when there's parties and events and shit why it's fucking rainy oh my god my hair <laughs> um I try to avoid those things with them you know oh this is like rain drops like big chunky ones too Ugh, my hair I don't know why I talk about the job thing. But I'd be like, if you're going to vent, you're going to vent. And if you're going to talk about it, you're going to talk about it. So, yes, that's my dilemma. Oh, no. You better not put on my screen this bullshit. My phone is getting wet. But lucky that it's a 7 and it's waterproof. <laughs> Everybody's like, what's going on? Hi. I hate when you just finally put your three little hairs in the perfect position. And then it rains. And I got to adjust them again. Oh, so annoying. <laughs> And it's like fucking rain, like the rain with the big traps. Not the little sprinkles that you'd be like, oh, it's just a mist. It's like the rain drops. How fucked up is this? I'm standing in my building, chilling. Noticed that I didn't bring my jacket where my house keys are. Now I have to try to break into my own fucking house again. It's a hassle to get in because it's just not easy. Okay, ooh, this door is open. Let me see what happens. Sometimes they have a dog. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing when the camera's looking at me. Like, look at that thief. It's looking fabulous. Be aware, no trespassing. There's dogs. Da -da -da. like nobody's home. I, I just don't want that doctor to look. Okay. It looks like nobody's here. Oh, I let my light on. Ugh. Now I have to go inside and break into my own fucking, fucking, fucking apartment. I'm just scared. <laughs> nobody's looking at me? Okay. Hi, here we, I'm, look, I'm really climbing a fucking gate. Hi, okay, let me put this on mute real quick because I'm going to phone break my hand. Really? Oh my god, I feel like I'm like 12 or something. 12 years old, breaking into a house. Not really smart, Marvin. Ugh, but I feel like... <laughs> uh, I have to climb that shit, like seriously. This is like my third time breaking into my house like last time i did it was like when the booty call was here and he was waiting for me outside there's a video about that you should guys just check that out it's fucking hilarious i can't believe that happened to me and then other times drunk and stupid and then trying to get into my own house and i'm like i'm gonna do it i even fell like fell several times from the fire several times that i tried to break into this motherfucking apartment okay and the last time i did i was drunk i was in love for the night and yeah i tried to break in here i was fucking pissed drunk and I'm, like, I'm, trying, I'm basically trying to climb fell a couple times on the ground like literally girl that's another day another story that time i was struggling to get here and i even fell in the i slept, slept in the fire escape i really felt like it was 20 minutes of a nap because I was trying all that. You know, when you drunk and you putting all your energy on one thing like, oh, I'm going to fight you or oh, I'm going to fuck you or oh, I'm going to try to break into my house. All of that energy on that one thing that you focused on. Shit happens that you fall asleep. <laughs> so I kind of felt like it was 20 minutes that I fell asleep on the fire escape. I was like homeless in the street for like 20 minutes. But really, it was homeless in the street for an hour. I felt like it was an hour because my body was really relaxed. Like, you know when your body has like slept and you're really relaxed? I felt really relaxed. <laughs> I felt really, really, really relaxed. So I was like, was that 20 minutes? Or was that an hour? I don't know. Oh, don't look at that. But yeah. Oh, I can't believe I did it again. Oh, I can't. I really, really, really can't. I just need to be focused. I just can't, the thing is, it's like winter is coming. It was a little chilly in the morning. I had my jacket on, I had my shit there, and I didn't really notice, and I'm wearing like a sweater, um, so I didn't really notice that I needed a jacket, because I'm just, we're so used to not wearing a jacket because summer's over. Um, because when, when it was summer, but now summer's over, and we have to wear damn jackets, 
And I'm playing with my balls. They're so cute. Ooh, these are hot balls. These are cold balls. These are hot balls. These are cold balls. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, fuck this shit. I can't believe I'm doing this shit. I gotta get my toes done. Look at that. That is this nasty girl. Now you wonder why your daddy friend is not sucking on your toes. You know what else I wanted to talk about too is um so I almost forgot what I was gonna say. So I was referring to my toes. So I like getting my toes sucked sometimes. So I kind of feel like my daddy friend hasn't sucked my toes because my toes are not cut. Well my toes are clean and pretty, but they're just not cut. So I kind of feel like that's why. I don't know why I'm having this conversation. It's just basically saying, cut your toes, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Pero yo no quiero, no ahora. <laughs> oh, so for lunch today, I'm going to have truffle french fries, yes, with um, whole wheat bun, toasted, with mush, it's a mushroom, um, a sandwich, a mush not a mushroom sandwich, like a mushroom burger with a whole bunch of shit with mushrooms and like all these other seasons. It's all vegan. Um, and it's from Candle Kitchen in New York City, bitches. They have Candle Kitchen and Candle Cafe. They're both vegan, really cool restaurants. I always order from them every single day. I call it be like Marvin, I'm like, hey, hey, hey. So you guys should check that out if you're in New York, you wanna eat some vegan food, it's so good. I have it. I'm gonna about to tear that bitch up. So, quick little blog today. But now like the summer's over, I'm gonna have a lot of more flexibility with my time. So I'm gonna spend time with my daddy friends, spend time with me, and spend time with my vlogs. Um, no, the vlogs has to go with all of them. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's so much fun. I can't wait to vlog in the snow and stuff. I'm such a winter person. I love the winter. Love, 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 love. Can't wait because I love the layers. Scarves. Gloves. Spandex. <laughs> uh, but yes. Can't wait. Stay tuned. So much more. So much more. So much more. So much more. Please subscribe and make me smell special while you're going to comment. Thank you for my views, I don't get a lot of views, I've mentioned this before, but four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever, 20, whatever it is, thank you guys so much, friends and families and everybody in between. Um, yes, I will be more, um, I was gonna say dedicated, Marvin, stop, don't do that. I am dedicated. <laughs> I will be more into um, this more, into this whole social world about my crazy vlogs or whatever. Um, in like video chats and stuff like that, like really, really put myself in out there like that. As like I said before, I already have a full time job. This what I do is just venting. Is just me venting. Is just for fun. It's not like I'm looking for a paycheck and stuff. Obviously, look how I live. I don't really need it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's just it is what it is. So please, people, uh, why I wipe my thick mustache? Please subscribe. You know what to do. And don't put no butt thumbs down, just just pass it. Just go like this. Oh, she doesn't want to hear it. She doesn't want to see it. Just slide. You know, slide. Slide. Love you guys.